Jim, this is James Altucher. I'm taking over your you. show. I'm taking over your it's show for the your first airplane. time in years. And you know why I'm taking over your show? It's because of your new book, Get Rich Carefully. I'm not here to promote it. I'm here to talk about it. Okay, fair enough. One of my favorite books in the finance industry or in any industry ever was your memoir, Confessions of a Street Addict. You wrote that at the bottom of the market in 2002, and I thought, man, this is a classic. This is before I even first wrote to you. It was that book that got me to first write to you, and then I started writing for thestreet.com. And then I want to know what happened. I feel like your literary book voice kind of went down for a couple of books. Then we had the financial crisis. Now this book, this is Confessions of a Street Addict, 2013. This is it, this is the investor's Bible. I'm not even saying this to be nice. Like I honestly am gonna give this to everybody I know who invests in stocks. This is the book. What happened? Why were the other books not as good? Why is this book as good as Confessions? Right, well, I'm being honest, you never think, you just never being think, honest. You never think your books are bad. Um, this is a book about how I couldn't figure it out. And I was glib. And you can't be glib anymore. When I say can't figure out, like the market doesn't work the way it did, okay? And it just took me a long time to figure out what's really happening. The last book was done uh, coming out, which was really just ideas of how to make money. But I don't want to talk about the other books. The reason why I think you like Get Rich Carefully is it's, it's filled with the, I screwed up. I don't know what I'm doing. Which were the confessions. I counted like, I 13 times where you said you were wrong I can't in this take book. It. Yeah. And I just like, why did I fight Google? Okay, here's what I didn't see. Why was Amazon good? This is where I went wrong. How did I get rid of an idea that I loved? This is confessions married to real money. Real money was the handbook to, the, what, to my hedge fund. Confessions was like this, Confessions of how I didn't get it. Confessions of how I heard. Why now, 2013? Okay, you know, I, at the top as opposed to the my bottom. My publisher's been asking me to write books for you. I said, no, I don't have anything to say. When I have something to say, I'm going to call you and I'm going to write a book. In, uh, for a year and a half, I worked on this book before I told him I had anything to say because I just myself was trying to figure out how this became too hard. How did it become a, a market where you know, Facebook, it doesn't open right, you know, flash, the flash crash, I was out there on TV. How did it become that the stocks were Amazon, Google? That's, why did Starbucks get where it did? And I've been searching for someone who's written the book, and I finally said, I gotta write it myself, but I also have to do it like, I, I didn't understand it. I, I own that. Here's what I should have seen. And it's a confession of what I did wrong and, in order for you to do better. But it's also an education. I wanna leave it with that, like Goldman Sachs, Starbucks, Ford, you go over these stocks <laughs> I in didn't such understand. brutal. I went into Goldman and I said, why does a stock go from 9 to 10? And we're like, you want to see a stock go from 9 to 10? And it was like, this is a book about a naive guy who figured it out. Well, it, it was very smart, your analysis of all these companies. I really recommend it. And I, I hardly ever recommend books. This is one of them. Thank you, James.